I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Away Featherlight Crossbody, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. So this is a 10 liter sling, which at, just looking at it, it does look fairly large, but I felt like I was able to get more gear inside of here than I was anticipating considering its size. So that was definitely a large selling point for me. There's also a larger size if you want that, but I find this to be kind of like that sweet spot um, for whether like, if you're gonna be using this as like a personal item for your flight, that works really great. Or even just like every day, it was kind of nice to have the option um, to carry more gear. But one of the biggest things and the quickest things I noticed was this material. So this is a polyester twill with a polyester lining. I'm gonna pull this up here closer to the camera and you can see some blemishes. So we've got something there. We've got kind of like these dark marks over there. There is something right here and that's kind of new, which I'll explain in a second. But basically I would say, and there's also this over here, um, I would say within two days of having this thing i ended up with these kind of like scuff marks almost all over it and i don't know where they came from i don't know like what i did to make them appear i think that just kind of like bumped up against something maybe a little bit dirty but i did just leave them kind of throughout my testing process they just slowly kind of accumulated um, i think like these darker ones i got pretty immediately um, on the other side here there's not really anything too crazy but i did uh try and do like the the care instructions to get the blemishes off of this and it actually worked surprisingly well so you can't really even see it anymore but there was like a darker mark kind of like the mark that's over here there was one like right in this area and I just used warm soapy water and detergent, um, like laundry detergent, like they had recommended on their site and just a washcloth. And I just rubbed it really well and it got off. Um, this little kind of stain there is actually from my detergent cause it was kind of mucky, got a little bit weird. I'm not really faulting the bag for that. I think that was me when I was cleaning it. Um, but if you clean it well and clean it effectively, those those marks do come off pretty nicely. So that's very nice considering the fact that this is like a lighter colorway and they do have a couple of different lighter colorways to uh, consider for this bag. So if that's a main concern of yours, um, it does wash off pretty nicely. So that's good. But overall, it's really simple on the outside. I mean, really the only like intense thing to be found is this Away branding down here. Um, but I think that they did a really good job kind of blending in the the color throughout the bag so it feels very cohesive like the bag itself the harness system is also very simple you can see that a large part of this has what almost looks like additional padding and then there's just kind of like a nylon looking strap on the other side here this is adjustable you can see this is i kind of just set it and forget it i had it there for the most part all the time um, but it is very easy to adjust while it's on your body which i'll show you in a second but this isn't any additional padding like there's no cushion or anything in here but what it is is just this fabric kind of extended up to the actual like shoulder strap itself and this made it a little bit more wide and it's very soft this is almost like a um it's kind of like a hard to explain you can kind of hear it like it has that kind of a feel to it um if you recognize that sound at all um but it's a very like comfortable and soft material so i didn't feel like i needed any padding or anything so it was kind of nice to have that option it didn't always fall exactly on my shoulder which i'll also show you in a second um, but i did like kind of having that i think it gives it a unique look as well it kind of like feeds into that slouchy look and then there's also a pocket here which we'll go over um in a bit but i do like this i think it was very comfortable to carry it just really depended on what was on the inside kind of how the bag itself looked um, whether it was like slouchier or a little bit more structured like it currently is so this is the bag when it's on carried as a crossbody you can also carry it over one shoulder if you like it kind of depends on your preference i generally did crossbody carry and you can see that with this bag packed out a little bit more, you'll see what I have inside. It does have a little bit more structure, but when I didn't have as much in here, it had sort of like a slouchy look that I kind of liked. I think it just is a little bit more um, kind of what's in style right now. So that, that makes sense. We also have really quick access to the front pocket zipper, um, which we'll go over in a second. And then there's another zipper here that's very quick and easy to access. The only thing that I didn't love is that the zipper uh, pull is actually in the back here. And so whenever I wanted to get in the back when I was wearing it on my body, I had to unzip, like I had to kind of um, 
put my hand back here in order to reach it. It was kind of a nitpicky thing and I just got used to it. Um, in my opinion, I would think that the zipper at the front would make more sense for like security reasons. Um, so not quite sure why it's back there, uh, but just something to keep in mind. But overall, it's really comfortable. Even when I had a ton of gear in here and it was very heavy, I still felt very comfortable carrying it. The only thing is with this shoulder strap, you can kind of see that padding like nicely covers me here. And if I move over to one shoulder, it's still covering me, but if I made this a little bit longer, then it wouldn't necessarily fall right on my shoulder. So it kind of depends how the fit works for you. If you're finding this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. As for external storage on this, like outside of that main compartment, there are two different options. The first of which I really actually liked, it was this top, um, zippered pocket on the shoulder strap, which I've mentioned a couple different times, but it's really only big enough to see, you can see it fitting, it's fitting my headphones and a, pair, a little stick of chapstick. I really liked it for just those items. You can also fit a credit card in here. I didn't find myself needing it for that, but it is an option. However, I would say, you know, you can get like one to two things in here max. The credit card also like, it kind of widens out the strap permanently just because it is so stiff. In this case, obviously it makes it look a little bit bulky, but it was never like digging into me or anything. And I liked having quick access to specifically my chapstick throughout the day and headphones was kind of convenient. Um, sometimes I like to wear them when I'm grocery shopping, uh, if it's, you know, really busy in there. And so I liked having quick access to those items. Um, and it stays very hidden and out of the way. That's kind of what I mentioned with these, uh, these zippers kind of across the board, they're YKK zippers. All of these like uh, zippers and zipper pulls are very subtle and blend in very nicely to the bag. So that's cool from an aesthetic standpoint. We also have this front pocket here, which I, in my opinion, also is very nice and hidden. So it kind of tucks away into like a gusset there. And when it's like this, you can, I mean, apart from the zipper pull falling out because it's currently like laying down, um, when I have this standing up the zipper pull, you, can, I, you can't really see, but it hides away there. So you can't really even see that that pocket exists, so it doesn't impact the aesthetic. But what's nice about it is this is where I kept like all of my items that were slightly larger than chapstick and headphones, but I wanted access to often. So I put my phone in here, I have my wallet in here, and then I have my keys in here as well. There's no key leash or anything, which I didn't really find myself missing, but maybe would have been nice to see. Um, you can see that the actual pocket itself is a little bit, like it's kind of hard to see in there because this fabric liner is so like slouchy and loose. Um, I think that's just more of an impact because of the aesthetic of the bag. So for me, it's just kind of a trade off. You know, if you want the slouchy look, kind of get a slouchier liner. Uh, but in this case, you can see the end of it goes to about here. And so I had a decent amount of space in here to carry, you know, pretty much everything that I needed. I did notice that if I put too much in here, like if my phone was in here and it was really tight, you can kind of start to see the outline of my phone, which obviously impacts the aesthetic if that's something you're really focusing on. Um, but for the most part, I felt like I could really get everything I needed in there. This little mesh pocket is really convenient too. It's got like a little airplane on there to kind of, as a reminder, like if you're someone who wants to use this as a personal item, that's a great place for your passport because you can have quick access to it. Um, and this is significant enough. Honestly, this is probably more than enough space that I need for a personal item if I have a carry-on bag or something. Um, but I put my wallet in here so that it didn't get lost in the rest of the pocket. And you can see it fits in there nice and easily. So um, I really found that useful even when I wasn't you know, traveling and didn't have a passport with me, I still found functionality for that pocket. Or, you know, if I wanted to put my headphones in there, I could too. So kind of a couple different options, but in general, I like, you know, the external storage on this. It was nice to have a pocket option that blended in so well without needing to, you know, create a zippered pocket, like on the dead front or the dead back of it, um, just because I kind of like the way this looks just very nice and simple and just a slouchy bag. As for the main compartment, there's really not that much going on. So opening it up here, you can see it's kind of got that like that like half moon kind of banana looking shape. Uh, opens nice and easy. And then you get pretty solid visibility to the bag itself. You can see it's standing up. I mean, without me touching it, standing up on its own uh, because of everything that I have in there. That wasn't necessarily always the case, um, but I'm gonna take this stuff out and kind of give you an idea of how big it is in there. So I have a uh, water bottle in there, I have a hat, and then I have an extra layer. So that was really like the largest items that I would put in there. 
with the extra layer that I had as well, I noticed that it really filled the space up a lot and uh, like very quickly. So I would say with an extra layer in here, if you wanna be able to carry that often, like maybe consider sizing up if you wanna carry a bunch of other items too. Um, but if I didn't have an extra layer, there were a couple of different times where, you know, I was going to a friend's house and I was carrying like a, one of those like Yeti koozies. Um, I'd put that in here with my drink. Um, I put my water bottle in here and that fits very nicely on the bottom. You can see even without me touching it, it's, or like without all that stuff in here, it is sitting nicely. When it doesn't sit nicely, it's just because there's not enough stuff in here. Like if I, you know, pull this up and then set it down, like it can start to fall over. But what I think this bag does really well is it has that large base here that kind of acts as a sort of like packing starting point and it gives it more depth so that you can fit more items in here without it kind of start to look like lumpy or, or frumpy, right? So when I had just, you know, over the weekend I was doing some shopping, I just had a water bottle in here. I wasn't able to fit it standing up. You can see it's a little bit too short um, or the bottle's a little bit too tall, but I did put it down on its side or put a couple of, uh, when I put it down on its side, you can hear like the water sloshing back and forth. Um, and my sister was like, I can hear you walking around in Target. Uh, so I ended up just like leaning it up a little bit and putting a couple items underneath and that helped with that. But I did like that I was able to, you know, carry a bunch of stuff out into the store with me with and like carry it around with me and still feel like I had enough space in my bag to kind of like toss stuff in there. Um, and even, you know, if I bought small things while I was out and about, I could just stick them in there versus needing to get an additional bag or something. So I think it has a ton of versatility in here. I like the general size of it, uh, but there's no organization apart from this back zipper. So this back zipper here, I have a measuring tape in there because I like to, when I'm doing shopping, I like to walk around with one just in case I need it. Um, in this case, if I'm like, out and about and need it, then I'll stick it in like this front compartment, but otherwise it just kind of hangs out back here. I don't really find myself needing these liner pockets super often because they're more often than not, they're just like a little bit more uh, flat and low profile than I need for my everyday stuff. Uh, but this would be a great spot for like a Kindle, say, if you were gonna be on a, um, a flight and you wanna use this as your personal item, that'd be a good spot for that. Cause then it's quick, it, it's like out of the way, but you know, still fits like a decent amount of stuff in there. It's a pretty roomy pocket. And then the rest of the stuff, obviously there's nowhere else for it to go unless you use your own cubes and pouches. So anything that was like still small, but too large for this pocket just went in this front compartment for me. So that was kind of my rule of thumb of how I organized everything in here. I was also able to fit a 13 inch laptop in here um, and it sat completely straight up. I was able to zip over it any size larger than that. It was a MacBook Pro. Any size larger than that definitely would not fit in here, but I fit my laptop, uh, my charger, and my like tech kit, and then like a I think a hat or a couple of other different things in here, and I still had some space to spare. So I think you know if you find there are some other colorways here that don't mark up quite as easily, or if they do, not necessarily don't mark as easily, you don't see them quite as easily, like the black color or the brown colorway even would hide those marks a little bit better. So if you know the cream isn't something that's gonna work for you, uh, then you do have a couple of different options. But I think in terms of what this thing can store and how lightweight it is, and just kind of like the style and aesthetic of it too, it does make a pretty solid personal item bag if you, aren't, uh, if you don't need something to be a little bit bigger, if you just need a couple of items that you wanna access on the plane, or just for everyday carry, this was nice to grab on weekends where I had a little bit more to haul. So there you have it, the Away Featherlight Crossbody. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to summer travel, and we'll see you in the next one.